you got hacked, there's boot errors all over the place, your xserver.sys is missing, but you're in luck. Although a critical system file is missing, your machine is still managed to default into terminal mode. I mean, apart from any game guides, and here's how you can restore your xserver.sys using nothing more than your terminal in HackNet. Once you reach a high enough rating in Entropy, one of Entropy's admins, Tex, will reach out to you. He'll send you a mail with Aggression Must Be Punished as title. Now in the email he writes about how there is a very aggressive hack that goes by the name of Nakes. The word on the street is that he stole a great chunk of data from another company and they can't have this. The data must be deleted, whatever happens. Since you proved yourself trustworthy and capable, you've been chosen to complete this task. To help you get started, Tex mentions new tools on the drop server that you can use with this task, in addition to a direct link to the machine that Nix used to steal the data. After you hack in Nix's machine and remove the data, you'll receive an email from him. In it, he writes how he has noticed you and says goodbye to your xserver.sys. Now suddenly everything starts flashing red, your RAM st will start filling up, and once it crashes, you'll get the all too familiar blue screen of death. Now let's go over how you can prevent this during your second playthrough. How we're going to prevent all that from happening again is by trapping Nakes with a shell. When you see that incoming connection screen, connect up to a machine you have system access to, load up a shell and hit the trap button. This basically prevents him from hacking you. But now you're here, stuck with nothing more than a black screen and your terminal. Like your machine hinted you, you should go have a look at the slash logs folder. There's two commands to help you with this. CD, which changes the directory, and LS, which will list all the files in the current directory you're in. Now you're going to be looking for a foreign IP address, cracking open ports and deleting files. When you're connected, probe the machine and penetrate it like usual. Navigate to the slash sys folder of that machine and download xserver.sys. Once you got it, disconnect from that machine and type reboot in the terminal to reboot your machine. And there we go. With your brand new X server comes a brand new beautiful background and music. If you found this guide useful, please give the video a thumbs up so other people can find it too. And if you like this type of content, be sure to subscribe since it's what we're all about here at Indie Game Guides. I want to thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next one.